All right, here's a really simple but awesome throwing, catching, and tag game called Freedom Catch for grades 1 to 6. And all you need are cones and foam balls. And thank you to Jennifer Holub for this game idea. So to start, you're going to use a line on the side, maybe a basketball court line or a volleyball court line, to create a jail area along the side of the gym. And then you're going to also place down cones somewhere at an appropriate distance away from the jail line, depending on the group you're working with. So with the kindergartens, grade 1, 2, any of the early years, a little bit closer, all the advanced throwers, your older kids or, or better throwers, obviously further away. And uh, it is a tag game, so all the players are going to be somewhere throughout the playing area to start. You're going to choose a couple taggers, maybe two, three, even four, depending on your group size. And you're going to place down a whole bunch of foam balls as well. And so the idea of the game is the taggers are going to try and catch all the, all the players to get them out and put them in jail. And the players are going to obviously run away because that's what you do in tag games. So on the go signal, they're going around. You imagine everyone's running. If somebody gets tagged, anytime you're tagged, you go into the jail. And you're stuck there until a player who didn't get tagged gra grabs a ball and goes to one of the freedom cones. And from that freedom cone, they're going to try and launch it, make, make a toss. If it's successfully caught, that player is out of the jail and they're safe. And uh, meanwhile, somebody else got tagged, they go into the jail. When a player is going, so we see somebody has grabbed the ball and they're going to go to the cone, they're not safe there at the cone, they have to be careful, it's a little bit risky. Obviously, uh, if you get caught, then you're also in the jail, so there's no uh, safe spots. And you play until either everybody gets caught or play for a certain amount of time and then uh, switch things up for the new round. That is it for this game idea. Thanks again, Jennifer. Awesome game. Please subscribe for more games and visit physedgames.com.